Let's take a look at this, uh, this little algorithm that produces a square distance field. If you don't know what a distance field is, I'll have a link in the description below or a card on the, uh, the top right. So all this algorithm says is there's two lines to it. Well, there's three lines. We'll see the third line in the, in the actual code. Let me plug in my tablet here. So what it says is given some position, and the position is just the position of the pixel on the canvas. So let's say, well, before I do that, let's do this. So whenever we say the absolute, that's what these guys are. This is the absolute value of the position. We're just talking about the positive of the position. Whenever you see absolute in a fragment shader sense, instead of something like this, where let's say this is the zero, zero here, this is the X axis, this is the Y axis. Whenever you see the absolute value of a position in your fragment shader, all it means is all of the pixels within any quadrant. This is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, this is quadrant four. All of the pixels, no matter where they are in the canvas, they're treated as though they're in quadrant one. So whenever you see absolute, you can ignore quadrant two, three, and four and just work in the first quadrant. So let me just control Z all this. So this whole canvas is now in the, uh, the quadrant one. So this would be the X, this would be the Y here. This is the zero, zero right here instead of in the center here. So what we're saying is take the absolute value of the position, so work within quadrant one. So let's just say we had, I don't know, let's say this is 0 0.2 here. So 0 0.2 by 0 0.2, let's pick another one. Let's do 0 0.9, so 0 0.9 right here. So 0 0.9 comma 0 0.9, so two points, minus some sort of fixed size. For size, we'll choose, let's say 0 0.8, actually 0 0.7. 0.7 for our size, and then after we get that value with the S, then we're just going to put the S through a length function. We'll get to that when we get to that. So let's tackle this first line here. What are we saying? Take, take the absolute value of the position, so take the position in the quadrant 1 and minus a size. So let's just do that math. So what is 0.2 minus 0.7? Let's do that in uh, blue. We have blue. There we go. 0 0.2 minus 0 0.7 is negative 0 0.5 and negative 0 0.5. Let's do another one. Let's say 0 0.2 by, let's do right here. Let's say this is 0 0.2 by, here we go. 0 0.2 by 0 0.5 on the Y. What is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.7? That's negative 0 0.5. And what's 0 0.5 minus 0 0.7? That's negative 0 0.2. Let's do the 0 0.9 thing. 0 0.9 minus 0 0.7 is positive 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Let's choose another one here. Let's do a 0 0.9, 0 0.3 right here. So 0 0.9, 0 0.3. What is, let me get the blue. What is 0 0.9 minus 0 0.7? That's 0 0.2. And what is 0 0.3 minus 0 0.7? That is what? It's different, 0 0.4 negative 0.4. So as you can see, we're developing a pattern where if the numbers fall within a certain range, that is to say if they're under 0.7, once you minus the size, we're getting these negative values here. Negative, 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 negative. If the number, the coordinate, the position falls equal to or above the 0.7 range, we're getting a positive here. Positive here, positive here, positive here, and there's still a negative here. So anyways, what does that have to do with drawing a square distance field? Well, what happens if we take the length of the max of s or zero? What the, we're saying here is for this max s or zero, whichever one's larger is gonna be the number in here. And so what we're saying with this is, if s is above zero, we'll take the s. So in this case, we'll take the 0 0.2. If s, s is below zero, we'll take a zero. So in these cases, we'll take a zero. So what we're seeing here is all of these 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, all negatives, these become zero values. Let me do that in purple. These become zero values. Zero here, zero here, zero here, zero here. There's a zero here. And all of these positive numbers, they retain their values. So this is still 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And again, what does that have to do with drawing a square? Well, what if we did this? We did the position, this little line here, for every single pixel. We'd have something like this. Let's say this is 0 0.7, and this is 0 0.7 where all these values, minus 0 0.7, fall in the negative range. We take the length of the max either above zero or zero. So all of these guys become zeros. No matter which pixel we are in this little box, we get zeros, like that. 
and anything outside the box, we just get its value. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, let's say this is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, doesn't matter, 0 0.5. All these guys are positive numbers. They're not one, but they're positive numbers. So we get a box with all zeros here, and then all positive sum numbers here. Let's do that in orange if we have orange. Positive sum numbers here. Now, how do we get a box doing this? Let me just show you what this looks like in the code first. So this is what the distance field looks like, where you get all the zeros here, and you get all these positive numbers, but they're not ones on the outer edges. How do we get a box made out of this? Well, what if we took the smooth step? If you don't know what smooth step is, I'll have a link in the description below or a card on the top right. What if we took a smooth step? Let's do a different uh, color. Let's do the, uh, I don't know, this one here, yellow. What you said is smooth step. So a smooth step of 0 and 0 0.001. So anything below and including 0, give me a 0. So all these guys become 0. Well, they stay 0, excuse me. And anything above 0 0.001, which is right. Let's say this is 0 here. Let's say this is 0. Anything slightly above 0 0.001, I'll give you a 1 value. That's what smooth step does. Anything below or equal to the zero, I'll give you a zero. Anything above the second argument, I'll give you a one. So we turn all of these positive 0 0.2, 0 0.4, whatever they are, we turn all of these guys into ones, or the white color. So we have all zeros here, which gives us the black. And finally, we, we smudged out, or we removed all of the, uh, the gradient effect out here. We just gave ones, which is all white. So let's go to the code and actually implement that smooth step on line 13. So there we go. That's how we're using a distance field and a smooth step to draw a square. And of course, we can move the square into the center by modifying where the pixels line up like this. So let's do minus vec 2 of 0 0.5. There we go. And of course, we can modify the, uh, the size of the square like that. It doesn't have to be a square. It can be a rectangle or whatever. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. It's a nice, short, sweet one. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next one.